Once you've reviewed your data type mapping, you're ready to move on to the translate step. In the translate step, this is where all your SQL objects will be translated into Oracle. Since this is the first time you're running through the migration wizard, the default is to translate all your constraints, functions, procedures, triggers, and views. Now, if you want to see a full list of all the SQL objects that are available for you to select from, you can exit out of this wizard. When you choose the option to proceed to the summary page, it will go ahead and exit out of the wizard, and it will do the capture of your source database, and then convert the source database into Oracle. So SQL Developer right now is creating your capture model, and then it will create your converted model. Once that completes, you can go to the Migration Navigator, expand Sybase Pub Q, and this is where you can see the captured database objects. So these are the objects from your source database. The converted database objects are all the objects now converted into Oracle. If you take a look to the right-hand side, these are where all these reports are available for you to analyze your migration. Here's an objects report to review all the objects that have been converted. Here are the columns. Any issues that you may have encountered during the capture and the conversion. So now, when you're ready to do the translation, just select on the converted database objects, right click, and select translate. This will take you back into the wizard. When you click on next, it will go ahead and skip all the steps until it gets to the translate step. And notice that it will have a full list of all the SQL objects that are available to you. You can now select the objects that you want translated. So let's just say I'll go ahead and select just my procedures that I want translated. 